And the war between Israel and Hamas is sparking fears of violence here at home. Cities across the U.S. are bolstering security around houses of worship after the former leader of Hamas called for a worldwide demonstrations today in support of Palestinians. CBS News senior investigative correspondent Catherine Harridge has more from Washington. Good morning, Catherine. Well, good morning, Anne-Marie. The barricades are back up here on Capitol Hill, a sign the city is significantly stepping up security. And while there's nothing specific or credible, the threat picture is being assessed on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. As these barriers went up around the Capitol building overnight, the Metropolitan Police here in Washington also increased visible security around places of worship here. And in New York City, all police officers were told to report in uniform for duty and those who are off duty were told to be ready at short notice. It's significant that in the last 48 hours, CBS News has been able to review multiple internal law enforcement bulletins that are warning of the potential for domestic violent extremism. And one analyst noted that these statements by Hamas calling for demonstrations really have the potential to resonate Amory. Um, so what more can you tell us about security concerns surrounding houses of worship in the U.S.? Well, what we're seeing in these bulletins and also just from our reporting around the country is that they're putting very visible security around places of worship, whether it's mosques or synagogues. And the idea here, Emory, is to have a very visible deterrent and then also to have that backstop that if there is a credible threat, they can take those forces and turn them very quickly in order to thwart or disrupt any potential violence. You know, it's such a pity, Catherine, because you know these houses are wor of, of worship. This is where people are going to want to go this weekend in order to gather, in order to talk, in order to pray for a better outcome than what we're seeing right now. And it, it, they should be considered safe places and, and places to find peace. Um, and so let's hope it stays that way. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.